Hey everybody, Instant Hero here, and welcome to a Wednesday Night Test Drive. No, no, not a new series I'm starting, but uh, just kicking around a, a game that uh, was sent to me by the uh, gentleman over at Psycho Robot Studios. Uh, they got a hold of me over on Twitter and said, hey, do you mind checking out this game for us and give us an honest review and let us know how we're doing? Uh, I'm not the only person that's got a review out here on this, but um, by far, I will be the most interesting. No, probably not, but, so, <coughs> excuse me, oh, getting over a cold. So basically, it's just a, a little platformer, and you run around in this little tiny spaceship, and you shoot things. Um, good things about the video we'll get into, uh, or good things about the game we'll get into here in a minute, as I, as I let it run through the little intro scene here, and you can kind of see the space station and the planet. Uh, but the basic premise of the game is you're an out-of-date robot, and you're there to help protect the space station crew from an ungodly amount of AI bots that are evidently hell-bent on destroying you. I mean, basically you. Uh, it's just you against the world. Um, basically all these robots. Uh, right now, the demo has three stages that are playable. Uh, upon release, they'll have about 12 stages. Um, there's a ton of power-ups. There's a ton of weapons in here. Um, and, you know, let, let's get down to it, and you can see kind of how the gameplay goes, and I'll let you know one of the major bugs that I found uh, as far as being a mouse and keyboard player. Um, game's not really my forte. Um, more of a, you know, survival, first-person shooter, third-person shooter, um, mystery, horror kind of guy, but I told him I'd give it a shot, give him an honest review. So let's get into this thing and start playing. going to be a real short video, maybe five, ten minutes long, uh, if that. And here we go. So here's your character. Basically, I don't know why it keeps capturing my mouse. One of these days I'll have to fix that on the recording software. But we'll click launch, and you'll kind of see it's uh, your basic WASD keys. Uh, helps you fly around. Uh, right mouse, primary fire, left mouse, secondary fire, and the middle mouse button. And you can see one of the enemies right there. And we'll shoot this guy. Um, so yeah, basically this is the this is the whole game right here. You're gonna run around and shoot all these AI bots that are out to get you. Um, and uh, yeah, and the middle mouse button will give you a third fire. And I assume that um, with controllers, you'll probably have a whole lot better of a time. So. Um, I'll just have to let you know right off the bat, I am really terrible at this game. Um, I die a lot. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the premise of the game. Not quite sure what the objective is. Um, I'm sure there'll be a little bit more maybe backstory once they get uh, the full game going here. Uh, hopefully it'll be out here in a couple months. Uh, I know they're working diligently to get this thing out and uh, see where it goes. So the one major glitch that I've got as a keyboard and mouse player, and you shouldn't have this problem um, as a controller of character player, is if the mouse goes off the screen, since it doesn't use mouse screen capture, it pauses the game and causes a little bit of a pause. You don't die, and the game itself actually stops playing, um, but it it is a minor annoyance. That and once you're off the screen, you can't control your character very well. So, uh, you'll see that really kind of glitchy when it comes down to it. Ooh, that was a good power-up. Uh, EMP is what that one's called. And it uh, pretty much just destroys everything that's in a light, nice little tight, maybe six-block area. So, you can see I'm having issues steering this because my mouse is off the screen. You can see my mouse kind of go off the screen as we go along. Um, I've got the graphics set up to full. Um, not a strain on my system. Not getting any frame drops whatsoever. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to get rid of this cold eventually. Yeah, I'm terrible at steering this thing, just in case you're wondering. Um, haven't picked up any real power add-ups. Um, here we go. I don't know what that thing does. Um, some sort of goo. Uh, there's also a couple of, like, I don't know what you would call them. It's uh, some structures, I guess, you can pick up. Um, not a whole lot of documentation with the game right now. Like I said, it's just a basic demo. Something, what's beeping? Man, something's beeping. Blow these guys up again. Yep, got another one. I don't know what it does. Um, 
But, I mean, this is the basic deal of it. Let's see if we can get up to 1,000 here real quick. Uh, when, once you reach 1,000 points on your score, that's when the main boss comes out. Uh, and you'll see the first main boss. Oh! Man, I did not last long on that one. But we'll grab this. And I'll show you the fire real quick. So the fire just destroys things with no problem whatsoever. I don't know what that thing does. You hit it, and it just kind of makes a noise. That's really about it. So a little bit more, and we'll get the... Ah, oh, see? And there it goes. Um, I went off the screen, lifted my mouse. Um, basically, as long as you keep the mouse held down, you don't have that problem. Um, there, there's some shields. This is what I need is shields. All right, so here's the bad. Here's the big bad boss for uh, for the first level. Uh, not not terribly difficult. It's more of just a kind of grind him down as you go along. Uh, but you'll see he shoots at you every once in a while. Um, it's got a it's got a status bar for the big boss. Um, and you gotta kinda gotta hit him in between trying to hit all these other guys. And you'll see I'll I'll get decimated here in a minute with all this stuff. Um, all in all, not a bad game. The graphics are pretty decent on it. Um, you know, it's got a little bit of background lighting. Uh, this is built off the Unity engine. Um, some of the other games I've played on Unity engine are pretty much just walkers. Um, you know, you just walk around, first person view, uh, not much interaction. So it's, it's good to see that this platform is is in pretty good use. Yeah, see, I'm off, I'm off the screen again. Oh, man, I'm terrible at this. All right, got some shields. I really can't get this guy killed. I haven't killed this guy yet. I've been unable. Unable to kill this guy at all. Oh. Ooh, I want to kill this guy so bad. <laughs> this game's addicting, I'll give it that. I mean, it's extremely addicting, but other than that one flaw, I mean, with a controller, this thing's going to be ultimately a whole lot better. Uh, I know they have it right now, uh, the demo is out on PC, Mac, and Linux, uh, with plans to port to console, uh, eventually. Um, I think it'd be a, a great little game, depending on how they price this thing. Oh, come on, die, die. But, you know, it's one of those games, the more you play it, the, the better you get at it. So, man, I want that guy to die so bad. Oh, come on. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. I'm going to stay right here where the shield is. Oh, I got him. Oh, all right. <coughs> oh, sorry for the cough. So, hey, there you go. You kill the bad guy, you get uh, double laser chip. So, uh, I guess that goes into level two. I'm not going to sit here and play this thing. Uh, just going to give you guys a taste. Let you see what you think about it. Like I said, fun little platformer game. Um, avoiding the onslaught of enemies is probably your biggest issue. Um, so, yeah, um, check it out. It, um, follow it on Greenlight. Give these guys your support. It's going to be a great little game. And that's all the time I got for now. So um, if you liked the video, like and subscribe below. Leave some comments. Let me know how I'm doing. And I'll see you guys next time.